Good morning, you guys. So it's Monday, and it is 5.18 in the morning. You might be wondering, why is cash up so early? Well, today is Cash's first day of school with me. And lucky for us, he got up at 3 a.m. screaming. <laughs> so we've been up for a while. Um, tried bringing him into bed with me, which I swore I would never do. But if I have to choose between getting any sleep at all or letting him just scream all night, I'm gonna try and get a little sleep. However, he didn't really sleep. Once I brought him into bed with me, he just kind of like sang and like tossed around and it was a tornado. So I think we're going to have to figure something else out because I can't function with <laughs> four hours of sleep. So we're going to just be positive. Where are you going today? I'm going to the Johnny place. No, honey, you're going to preschool today. Are you excited? Are you excited for preschool? Yeah? Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. So, I'm gonna go get myself Bye. ready and then I will catch up with you guys in a second. And we're ready. So, it is now 6 16. And it is at this time of day that I will normally be waking Cash up. <laughs> I want to be completely ready myself before I get him up. That way I can concentrate on getting him ready. But since he got up at 3 o'clock in the morning, I didn't need to wake him up. He's just up and he's yelling. <laughs> so I feel like I've like entered through this like passageway of like becoming an actual like teacher mom because my kid's coming to school with me now. Okay, Cash, show us your outfit. Show the vlog your outfit. Let's see. Oh, be careful. What? <laughs> okay, you gonna come help me load the car? And then we'll come get them last, okay? So for the last couple of years, Scott has been the morning person with Cash and I have really been able to kind of like take my time in the morning, kind of do my thing, but now the uh, position has been granted to me. So let's take a look at all the things we need to pack. We gotta bring gym bag because I plan on going to the gym after school. Purse, breakfast, waters. We gotta take this and we're gonna put your backpack in the car right now, okay? Let's just take a few things at a time. Hey you guys, so it is now Tuesday. Cash had an amazing first day of school, didn't you? Did you have fun yesterday at school? You did? You got yogurt on your face. Crusted on your lips. Um, anyway, he had a great day at school. He took his nap, he ate his lunch. He had a super fun time, huh? You had booger? No. So this morning we're here again around 7.30s when we got, or 6.30s when we got here. He's been doing really good getting up early. Yesterday, or last night, he slept really good, which I can't imagine why. Probably because he didn't sleep the night before and then he had a big day of school. So anyway, um, he got up today at 5.45. Oh yeah, there they are. Um, and we were out the door by 6.30, so if this continues, this routine's gonna be great. We're gonna put her on the ground again. No, we're not gonna put her on the ground again, are we? No, I'm not. Why don't you go stick your fingers in there? And say hello. Um, so he's gonna be with me until about 7.20. We'll walk downstairs. Um, I do need to make a couple of copies. And I will show you guys what we're working on today. So yesterday we put our interactive notebooks together. We got them set up 
and one of the things that we did was put in some table of contents. I just looked up interactive notebook in my TPT to see what I had purchased in the past and looked up a table of contents. So I made them notebook size and then we glued them in yesterday. Here, I'll let you stand right here, okay? So you can pet them. And then um, we actually completed one activity. It was a See, Think, Wonder, which if you guys teach science, a See, Think, Wonder is a really great way to get kids thinking about making observations, asking questions, and using their thinking skills to um, just warm up their brains. <laughs> so anyway, um, essentially what it is is I show them a picture. Um, usually it's related to something that we're doing in class. So. We're gonna be doing a couple of days of scientific method stuff with marshmallows, and so I showed them a picture of this boy eating marshmallows. I give them the three, two, one rule, so they have to say, Cash, please be careful with her. They have to write down three things that they see, so an observation, things that they can see, uh, two things that they think about the picture, so it could either be like an inference that they think <laughs> something that's happening in the picture or something they think they know. And then the last one is one question or one wonder. Now they can always write more than one, but I always try to push just for at least one. You always have those high achievers that want to write at more than one, and that is perfectly fine. So for now, entry level, we're just doing one. So, Cash, I need you to be gentle, okay? So that's what we did yesterday. So you can kind of see, I did print this page out for them just for yesterday, but what I will most likely have them doing is writing it out like this. And it will end up being something that they will do for a warm up. I will probably have them do it at least once a week, just especially if I'm introducing something new, like a new phenomenon or something like that. And I want them to kind of think about it first. <laughs> Cash playing with a rat. So today we're gonna talk about the scientific method and it's not exactly a science standard in Arizona. Hey, have a seat on that chair if you wanna hold her, please. It's not exactly a standard in Arizona, but I'm using it as a way to introduce specific vocabulary and specific skills in science. For example, asking questions, forming a hypothesis before they test out something, um, observing and recording information, looking at data, and then using all of those tools like measurement and analyzing and experimenting, things like that. So I am just teaching it as a whole and then using those skills that the kids learn from it throughout the year. So today what we're going to do is we're going to read this passage on the scientific method and we'll do this using lots of different strategies. We'll do uh, popcorn reading, we'll do whole group reading, we'll do touch reading, and then throughout the reading, we're gonna take some notes. So when we read about observation, we'll take a little bit of notes, um, you guys understand. So, and then what I wanna do is find a sweet little measurement form where I can just have the kids practice using rulers today because tomorrow they're gonna be measuring marshmallows. We're gonna put them in the microwave, make observations before, make observations after, form a hypothesis, what will happen when you put the marshmallows in the microwave. Um, please be gentle with her, honey. You're being a little rough. I'm gonna have to put her away. Okay, just sit there and pet her. Don't grab, okay? Um, and so that way they can practice measuring before we get to that because measuring the marshmallow, the size, the height and the width is part of their, is part of their lab tomorrow with marshmallows. So I'm just gonna review them with measurement. They do know how to measure, at least they should from third grade. So it's just gonna be a quick review, a quick pre-assessment to make sure that they can actually measure their marshmallows tomorrow when they actually have to do that. So that is the plan for today.
eyes. So right now, my fourth graders, who are all staring at me very awkwardly, they're working on practicing the scientific method by answering this question. What will happen to a marshmallow if it gets heated up in the microwave for 30 seconds? So right now, we're testing it out. Are you guys having fun? Yeah! That's what it's all about. Are you going to keep that? Table four, go on up. Are you going to keep this? guys so it is now Thursday and I wanted to just briefly give you all an update on what we did today so we did step two of the marshmallow madness lab and so students set up their notebooks to form a hypothesis they're going to be making some observations on Monday and uh, we actually graphed some data today we voted on which liquid so this isn't from TPT by the way just type marshmallow madness and you'll find it um, so we figured this, uh, we completed this page today, and then we also graphed our class's thoughts, like our votes, because I want to get the kids used to taking whatever data they collect and representing it in some way. So whether it's on a bar graph or a line plot, I'm going to try to find a way to graph as much data as I can for any and every lab that I can. So then each class we made, um... We set up our lab, so we have cranberry juice, soda, water, and vinegar, and there are marshmallows in each one, so there are three of these. The other one is over there somewhere. And then on Monday, the kids are going to come in. They're going to, um, I'll send them all to the back where the cups will be, and they'll make observations and report the findings. So that should be really fun. We did this last year, but we were online, so I had to show the kids in the camera. Some of them were able to do it at home. Most, no, did not do it at home. But, um, yeah, super fun. So that is day two of Marshmallow Madness. So today will be, or sorry, Monday, we'll update those, and then we will kind of move on from scientific method into more actual standards content. So my first unit is going to be earth science and we're going to begin with the spheres of the earth um next sorry it's a fifth grade next gen standard but it is aligned to a fourth grade arizona standard so i kind of have to dip into the next gen fifth grade jar for this but it's okay because my fifth grade teacher knows that i'm covering it so she won't cover it next year so it's kind of like a win-win. Um, anyways, it is now 3.50, so I'm gonna head downstairs, print a few things, and then pick up cash, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys, so we have made it to Friday of the first official full week of school, and today we have a pep assembly um, at 8.30 in the morning. So we're going to get our kiddos ready for the day, get them lined up, and get them on out. So. This will be very interesting. <laughs> After the pep assembly, we are going to do what I call a bookmark party. And essentially what I do is I put a link to all of the websites that I will be using throughout the year and what I need the kids to get on. And we do a bookmark party. So we go to each website. I put the links in Google Classroom so it's easy. They just click on it and then it opens up. Um, I don't have to like make them type anything um, and then we just go website by website pulling them into I teach them how to make a folder for their bookmarks bar I show them how to bookmark things I show them how to delete the words so that it's just the icon um, that way the whole year is smoother when I say okay go to Nearpod they can just click and go right to Nearpod um, when I say open up Google Classroom it's a direct link so uh, that's what we're gonna do today and um, so yeah, so then we'll kind of like go through each website, get them logged in. Uh, the main one though is Clever. That is one of the most important ones that I need to 
get them on um, because Clever is a really cool website if your school doesn't have Clever. Basically what it is, oh my gosh, I have rat scratch marks all over my neck. Basically what it is is this like one-stop shop website where you can um, pull different programs to automatically sign in with a student's Google account. Um, and it's great because they just open Clever and then they have all of these programs that they're allowed to play on or work on um, or are like consistent. You can come in. So yeah, so that is the plan for today. We're gonna do bookmark party during class and then I will give the kids time to customize their Google Chrome accounts. They love to make little avatars. I actually found this really cool site called Pixton and it's a place where students can make their own Bitmoji or avatar and then they can use those avatars as their little profile pictures. They can make comic books with them and so that would be a really fun way to get the kids creating like an image of themselves. Um, and so we're gonna do that today. Hopefully we have time in um, my first block. Luckily I think they got a little bit ahead yesterday because we did start doing our bookmark party yesterday. And so I think they got a pretty good head start. So fingers crossed and yeah, it's gonna be a great Friday. Today's also my husband's 31st birthday. So uh, this evening we're gonna have uh, dinner and enjoy time with family. And yeah, so I'm excited for that.